As we reported in our lead story, a Montreal man has been identified as one of the victims of this weekend's attacks. He is 33-year-old Alexandre Luc. His family says he was killed as Hamas militants stormed a music festival in a rural area near the Gaza-Israel border. Luca Caruso Moro has the details. He was FaceTiming his mom, then they lost the connection. Montrealer Alexandre Luc was at the Nova Music Festival in southern Israel, where Hamas militants opened fire early Saturday. Some 260 people died. Luc was one of them. Some kids were trying to like hide in some kind of shelter. It's said as Hamas fighters approached, Luc put his body in the line of fire. He saved the lives of several people. Devora Shanowitz is a program director for the Chabad of Westmount, where Luke's parents are members. She says his family is beloved in the community. Uh, we were just at dinner together last week, celebrating Sukkot, and we were talking about peace and the, the, our prayers for peace as the Jewish people before we knew any of this would happen. The loss in both sides is going to be enormous. Shaoli Talmor moved to Montreal from well. Israel two Washington. years ago. Still, so much in his life is still there. Yes, a lot of family and friends, all of them were recruited. Same as my brother and my sister and all of our friends. He says every day he waits, desperate to hear that they're all okay. Meanwhile, on social media, horror stories. I see tons of people that are missing, tons of family that were just disappeared in a glance of a second, that terrorists just broke into their houses and slaughter them while they were sleeping. Murdered in their homes, in the streets, there's just not a family that's not affected. Rabbi Lisa Grushkow called on Montrealers of all religions and backgrounds to stick together in solidarity for those still in danger. We have a lone soldier who's a member of our community who doesn't have family in Israel but is serving there as a medic, so obviously his family and our community are following closely. Hoping for an end to the loss of life and to avoid divisions and conflict here at home. We are paying all of us to increase our security of our houses of worship. I know that's happening with synagogues. I believe that's happening with mosques. Uh, and it shouldn't have to be that way. It just shouldn't. Jewish community leaders have organized services and fundraisers for family and friends abroad, as so many mourn for hundreds of lives lost. Luca Caruso Moro, CTV News.